What is up, everyone? Hope you're having a great day today. We're jumping into uh, Rise Up Week 4. I will let you know this ahead of time. Our color printer is down, um, and so I will not be printing these out until it's back up. Um, so in case you see this and you're like, why is everything so dark today? Well, because our color printer isn't working. So um, today's or this week's lesson, it's really, really straightforward. Um, so the the small group time is going to be so many questions. Do not ask all of the questions. Okay. The, the purpose is not for you to ask all the questions. The purpose is for, for you to have a question or two that gets your group going. So if they want to talk about the practical side of it, that's great. Go into that. And if they want to talk, excuse me, if they want to talk about the, just retell the story, then go with that. So um, let's just jump right into it. The, the, we're going to start with our, our game is going to be kind of an object lesson where they're going to have two pound weights. You're going to have two kids and you're going to hold them out either straight out in front of them or out to the sides like this. And you're going to see how long they can hold the weights out. The longest person wins or whoever holds the longest wins. You say, okay, now we're going to do it again. But this time the person who lost, they get to hold their arms out and they get to pick two friends to come up and then hold their arms up. So now I have, I have, you know, Tyler on this side holding this arm up and I have Eric on this side and he's holding this arm up. Meanwhile, the person I'm going against, uh, we'll just name him Dan. Dan has no one to hold his arms up so that way he just gets tired really fast and they drop. This whole thing being, we're talking about that God is, is the source of our strength. Uh, we are strong, big idea specifically, we are stronger with Jesus. So we're going to talk about that. So we're going to we're going to have that challenge of who can hold their weights out the longest, but then once you lose, now you get the extra help. Um, so we'll do that. And then I keep yawning. I don't know why that's not true. I do know why, because I'm tired. Um, then ask the question, what is something you haven't been strong enough to do? I'm reading right up here. Uh, ask the question and ask kids to respond. Uh, and then again, some kids are going to give some really silly stuff and some kids are going to give some real, some real uh, serious stuff. That's great. This is inner, we're interacting from the stage, getting them warmed up to what the idea is. Then we'll do our worship. We'll do our Bible uh, story. And then from there, we, let's see, big idea. Here we go. Sorry, because there's so many questions, it's six pages right now, so I will have that condensed for you. But um, The first activity is not the question. It's called the map to strength. You're going to cut a poster board under the shape of a mountain, uh, so I will do that for you. I'll have just cheap poster board, and it will be cut like mountains. On the uh, right, the word strength on the side, instruct the kids. Ooh. Guys, I apologize. I don't know what's going on. Instruct the kids to work together to think of words that come to mind when they think of strength. So then they're going to be writing these words. Hey, when I say the word strength, what do you think of? We're going to, you know, where do you, where do you think, you know, maybe, maybe from the Bible or not from the Bible, where does strength come from? Well, strength comes from lifting heavy things. The more you lift heavy things, the stronger you become. Or maybe, maybe you associate strength with size or, you know, kids who do uh, karate and martial arts stuff will go, man, you, you associate strength with technique. So they're going to write those words down on post-it notes and then put them on that board. The reason we do post-it notes is so that afterwards you can take them all down so the next group can use them. Um, there are many things we think of when we think of strength. That's because strength can mean many different things. Uh, and then you're going to read a quick story from Acts chapter 4 where Peter and John heal a man using the strength that they had from Jesus. So we'll do that. Um, you're going to ask that question, where did their power and strength come from? They made it clear to everyone that their strength came from Jesus. And then you have your questions. Hmm. So your questions are, what do you need Jesus to give you strength to do this week? practical. Uh, what is something you didn't think you could do before, but now can trust Jesus to give you strength to do? Practical. Story. Where was Jesus going and why? What did Jesus tell us to go and do? Uh, who did Jesus say he was going to send to help the disciples? All those are from the story. So you have you have two points of questions there. One practical, one, uh, you know, just remembering the story. Finally, You'll pray, and then you'll go over your memory verse. Um, give candy to kids who can say it, so we'll practice it quite a bit. Um, all in all, uh, I expect service to not go an hour and 20 minutes this week, but also that opening part's going to go pretty quick, so you'll have lots of time in your small group so they can practice the memory verses and uh, also do all the activities. So, guys, have a great day, have a great week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.